Yeah. And where's 90% of industry? Okay. I want you to share that with the class when we share. Today, you're going to use these columns for your possible expert topics. I'm passionate about this age level because you get light bulb moments not just every day, every hour. What kind of questions would I need to be able to answer? Junie, what do you think? I've watched, physically been able to see the learning that's happening for them. And I had a parent say that to me. I can see her brain growing when she brings home this work. And I just, I love that. I see their brains growing every day. Our two children are very different. We have a, a, a boy who's in fourth grade and our daughter is in third grade and they approach things very differently and the teachers have such an excellent way of teaching them individually. So if he's selling cars, is that a joining problem or is that a separating problem? What kind of a story is that? We're really talking about understanding how numbers go together the relationships between them, and that whole notion of a joining or a separating story, we start in pre-K. And so that's language that we use all the way from pre-K to at least fifth grade. Far Hills is an education for life. There are no more important years in a child's educational journey than these pre-K through eighth grade years. Have a great day. Trip, have a great day. Have a great day. We are about balance, their strength of mind, their, their strength of character. We really focus on not teaching students what to think, but how to think as part of their journey here. The kids are learning about relationship, they're learning about tradition, they're learning about loyalty. I think things that build their strength of character and balances out the academics. I think a school that only focuses on academic may not have been the right fit for our family because we needed that balance, and Far Hills does that. Well, the ropes course is so valuable because it's experiential education. Everybody's responsible for everybody. We have to inspect each other's equipment. We have to make sure the environment is safe, the equipment is safe, and everybody is involved, encouraging, supporting, coaching each other, and trying to get them to have the most positive experience possible. Abraham Lincoln in the debates, who is he debating? History prepares you for life in general. History prepares you to be an informed citizen. We focus on research and research writing, reading skills. So we've got slavery, cotton demand, we've got railroad tracks, industrial, and... Industrial Revolution, Okay. Yeah. I have always had students that come in and claim that they hate history from the very beginning. And by, I would say, week three, they love history. Um, we make it fun and exciting, and I think that that makes it more interesting for them to show up and really engage. Yes, I like it. There are a few things I'd like you to discover. As the kids are exploring, um, I like to go around just to get a sense of what they're thinking. They record in their journals, and that gives me kind of a formative assessment how they're doing. Does order matter? Yes. It sure does. We don't want to produce factoids, students who can just regurgitate information. We want them to think like scientists. We want them to make predictions and tests. One of you in this very classroom may discover something that changes the way your children learn. It was that experiential learning that I think is so important here at Far Hills. Yes, you get the facts, but you don't just memorize and spit it out. You live the facts and you have these experiences to really show your learning. Okay. Far Hills is by far the best investment we have made as a family. 